Problem 8. Four children were born at the city hospital yesterday. Assume each child is equally likely to be a boy or a girl. So every every probability is going to be half and half. Which of the only outcomes are most likely? Well, compute it for each. A is 1 over 2 to the 4th, right? And B is going to be 1 over 2 to the 4th as well. Now, what about C? Choice C, two are girls and two are boys. So we have four children, child 1, child 2, child 3, child 4. I pick two of the children from the four to be girls and the remaining two to be boys. That is choice C. Choice D, three are one gender. Let's assume it's a girl. I pick three from the four to be girls, right? Oh my gosh, I am getting slump, uh, sloppy. Half to the third, and that's one pick one, and that's half, right? And then by symmetry, it's going to be the same thing for boys. Now what about E? All of them are equally likely. So E comes after. Let's just solve for A, B, A, B C, and D. A, 1 over 16, B, 1 over 16, right? Now, what about C? C, well, 2 pick 2 is just 1, 1 pick 1 is just 1, so basically, we all have a half to the 4th. Half to the 4th is 1 over 16. 1 over 16, 4 pick 2, and this is 1 over 16, 4 pick 3. This is, same thing, uh, well, this is 4 over 16, which is 1 over 4, and this is the same thing as 4 times 3 divided by 2 times 1 over 16, which is, uh, what? Which is 6, so 6 over 16. Well, that's 4 over 16. So basically, we have this. 1 over 16 for A, 1 over 16 for B. Uh, we have, what, 6 over 16 for C, and 4 over 16 for D. Um, and so, so if we were to solve this, wait, I think I did something wrong. Um, A is that, B is that, C is that. Um, no. It, it won't be right for D to just be this, because there's symmetry. Three are one gender, one is the other gender. We must consider there's two cases within D, right? So we have to multiply that by two, actually. Because, like I said, it's the this, it's this exact same thing if I were to say that this is going to be a boy or a girl. It, it never specified which gender, so we must consider that this choice includes all genders. So, like, there's three of boys and three are girls and, you know, these two choices. So multiply it by two, right, we get eight over 16. Right, I was like, why is this looking off? So 8 over 16 would be your answer. So that means D is the largest, so D is your answer.